us live on Sky Sports from the City West, Dublin! 32 players came and two remain. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Professional Dance Corporation proudly presents the final of the Boyle Sports World Grand Prix. Ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands joining us live and the millions joining us around the world, it's time to meet the finalists. Firstly, would you please welcome from St. Helens, England, the winner of 15 PDC ranking events. He's into his second Grand Prix final. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chidi! in the Netherlands. It's time to meet the world number one. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending four-time World Grand Prix champion and the reigning three-time champion of the world. Is this the best possible final we could have had here this week? Well, I think so. I think they've, they've been the best two players, and not just because they've made the final, but it, the stats actually suggest that. And Dave Chisnell, he's, he's just found a newfound confidence. Michael Van Gerwen, he's, well, he's, he's simply Michael Van Gerwen. What does Chizzy have to do here to, to get in this game? Well, he thinks that, so I spoke to him, he thinks that he, he can't afford to miss anything, and that's not the way. The way is to just go about his business, doing what he's he's been doing in the previous rounds. His stats match up to Michael Van Gerwen. He's, Dave's put himself under pressure and he knows about the head's head records. They, they clearly both do. But he's just got to play his game, relax, get away on doubles and just see, see what happens. But as long as he plays well, he'll give himself chances. It's a new confident chizzy, isn't it, these days? It is, yeah. The, 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 the kind of weak and flaky Chizzy from, from back in the day that just doesn't seem there. It, it just seems so likely to me that in Michael Van Gerwen, he, he's, he's playing the best in the business. And this is the thing with Dave. Whenever he's made a, a final of, of any importance, he's played the world's best and no change here. Thanks, Wayne. John Barn, Rod Studio Commentary Team. Thanks, Dave. Good evening. As Wayne was saying there, all the statistics and everything we've seen this week suggest that this will be a close contest. Their averages 91 and a half Van Gerwen, 90 Chisnell, doubling in 38.5 Van Gerwen, 38.6 Chisnell. Breaks the throw, percentage 53 apiece. But then the other thing that's in your head, Chisnell's never won a big final and hasn't beaten Van Gerwen in 26 attempts. And you see it, John. Well, all I've got is they've won four matches each and it's the final. <laughs> I think it's pretty level, uh, really. Uh, it really shouldn't be, but instinct is telling me this this is going to be a close one. 177. And also, Wayne pertinently pointing out that Chisnell's matches in finals of always against the very best. 
but he has been at his very best in this event. This is now the fourth time he's played Van Gerwen in a big final. Yeah, and it can be discouraging, Rod. I had some experience with that syndrome of getting to a final and you're playing the very best. And uh, Yeah, you just got to keep trying. You got to keep trying. Come back to that in a sec. Let's watch Van Gerwen trying this 104. Can't find the trouble with either of the first darts. Chisbo's going to get a dart here. Possibly only a bullseye. But he's going to get a dart to break the Van Gerwen throw in the opening leg of this best of nine sets contest. I said that, but he won't if he doesn't find something here. Well, he'll be disgusted with himself because he had to be at least hitting the two singles, the two big numbers. Somewhere in Essex, Rod like Harrington is going absolutely berserk. Well, it's a bit nervy though, opening leg. Michael will do well to get this himself. He does. Yeah, that is a great line, dart under, under the, the so meaning of that. Get started into the match, settle down, make Chizzy feel bad about his effort. And he's just no get away in the first three. And Gerwin didn't get away in his first three, but he wasn't punished. That was in the previous leg. But we know what the green machine tends to do. You show him a glimmer of weakness, it crushes you like an irritating insect. 80. Well, one thing that Chizzy probably can't afford is one of these Michael Van Gerwen 3 0 sets that seem to take about two minutes if you're the one losing. That's right. He had one in the tournament that took under five minutes, and you know how it goes. He railroads in five minutes and he strides off stage with that face, and you know he means business. And you know you haven't done anything to disrupt him. Just quickly back to what you were saying about playing the same opponent over and over again. As Van Gerwen oh, almost hits his first maximum. John, you were given one of the all-time great towelings in the World Championship final by Phil Taylor, which was an absolute hiding. How did you manage to get yourself into the frame of mind to the next final of 2003 when you had one of the greatest victories we've ever seen at the Circus Tavern? Well, I was on a pretty good roll, so I had the luxury of being in the World Match Play final against Phil, where I almost oh, got that one. And then in the World Grand Prix here in the fall where I lost the final to him. So I was get conditioning myself and I was teaching myself. I was almost winning leg for leg or set for set. And I believed I could do it after those two experiences immediately prior to. Yeah, he's on the second here is going to have to find some belief because it started in exactly the way he didn't want. And one of his defeats in finals came in the World Grand Prix final itself in 2013 after he'd beaten Van Gerwen along the way to get to the final. He was annihilated by Phil Taylor and he only won two legs in the match. It was first to six. Well, that's where you just need to do something. You need to win some legs. If, if you let the man completely dominate, dominate you, he will. And he'll, and he'll do more so even. You just get more relaxed and... Play so naturally. How natural did that 160 just look in? It didn't look stressful at all. No, and it came off the back of missing three to start for the second time in three legs for Van Gerwen. No, but he, he's rendered that poor opening three darts at double practically irrelevant within the context of the leg. 96. Miss or hit right now, Michael looks relaxed. He's got 2 0 lead in the set, in the opening set of the final. Everything which he imagines should happen is happening. 100. And that's where Chizzy has to step in and upset the apple cart a little bit, 96. even if he doesn't end up getting the set. You have to make the better opponent think, wait a minute, what's going on here? 60. I've got 149. Seventy-seven left, so well, double nineteen probably. Yeah, uh, that leaves double ten when he comes back. Yeah, and this is just about a completion of an ideal. Michael Van Gerwen win first set. 20. Double five, yeah, and there it is. The and with the Michael minimum of fuss, Michael Van Gerwen opens his account. There he is, there's the familiar side of him striding off stage, having taken the first set of a darts match. And Dave Chisdall, the underdog, has work to do. 1-0 Van Gerwen. David Chisnell.
who really hasn't got going. He has not had a dart and a finishing double, Dave Chisnell. And I do wonder if his mind's wandering back to 2013, because in the first five sets of that final against Phil Taylor, he didn't have a shot at the outer ring to close out a leg. He had one at the ball, but that's a great start. That's the way to come out of the break, Chizzy. That's the way. That is indeed the way. We feel so much better already. We have to start getting shots for double and winning legs, win sets. I mean, realistically, he has to win the set, doesn't he? You don't want to be going 80. two sets down against Van Gerwen, who would, of course, have the throw in the third set. He will have the throw in the third set. 60. And then you start thinking about 3-0, and then all you're thinking about then is avoiding a whitewash, isn't it? Exactly. So it's not must win, but it seems like the only plausible way forward for taking a title. They race of treble 20s, but still well back. So Chisnell here will certainly get his first darts at double. Doesn't need to be going 51 for Bull here. The one pointer to leave tops after 12. That's an excellent leg, just the what he was looking for. Now, what he wants here is a one dart kill, John, and then get right into Van Gerwen's ribs in the second leg. Yeah, the copy and book. Uh, bookend the one dart in on tops and he does the counter attack from the world number one A very good answer that's what you have to do, really, is put heat on to oh, Michael every single leg. Just takes a while to brew the pressure to actually manufacture some kind of a crack in Van Gerwen's armor there. Michael Van Gerwen playing six. his sixth World Grand Prix final. His first was in 2012 when he defeated Mervyn King. He won the 2014 final against James six. Ray, the 2016 event against Gary Anderson, and the 2018 the renewal against Peter Wright, but he was beaten in 2015 by Robert Thornton in a huge upset. When Van Gerwen missed an incredible 42 darts at finishing double. Double 14. And that's the fourth one he's missed at a finishing double tonight. But he'll be back for another three in this leg. I think he was careful not to miss inside on that double. He really didn't need to hit it. And now he cleans it up. Absolutely, as you called it, John. To level up the leg and just turn the pressure back onto Chisnell, who responds. 75. After the first set, Chizzy was averaging under 76, and he's hiked that up to... 88 and a half because in this set he's averaging 109. So Dave Chisnell has now got into his work, got into the match. Averaging 109, but still, as of now, relying on the advantage of throw. He has not been able to beat Van Gerwen against the throw. 134. Van Gerwen's whole percentage in this tournament shade under 80 percent well he seems to have found his oh, range on those treble 20 20s well and looking in this set like the Dave Chisholm that we've seen all through the tournament well, two big three figure out shots which would need a bull finish You know, Michael Van Gerwen's thinking, OK, this is the guy I've seen playing here all week. I know right now if I could, I'll break him if I win this set. Figuratively and literally. 93. That's how the green machine operates. He really looks absolutely businesslike tonight, Van Gerwen, doesn't he? 
The mean green darting machine watching Chisnell fumbling for a finish on double three. Yeah. Oh. Well, after the first two, John, you had to think in your head, well, it, it's odds against to hit this, but that was pinpoint, and that could be significant. It is. It's really important just that keeps his hopes less as a hope and more of a, he just has to execute and it will happen. 38. Well, when turned, I say it will happen, I mean win this set. Yeah. He turned what is a bad double into a good double. 134. Oh. Really good set of darts, this, and a really significant set of darts. Chizzy averaging a shade over the ton in this set, and MVG a shade under. 59. And with the double starts, there was a tip top second set averages. Oh, oh he doesn't enjoy a 171. Another of those for double ten. 120. It really didn't need it. Much like when he missed yeah. the last time. And again, missed outside. Make sure you leave a nice one, oh, not an odd double. Oh, and Gerwin has had six three figure out yeah, shots. In the tournament, no addition to that tally there, but there is an addition to his leg tally in this set to all, and suddenly we now we reach a crossroads with the most important leg of the match up to press. No score. Ah, and a big error, potentially. Michael trying to jump onto it, gets the second dart. 56. No scoring help with it, though, really. So. Chizzy, if he gets in first dart, can still survive this. He is surviving this. 120. Well, the second time that Dave Chisholm has failed to start with any of his first three darts. He may yet no, avoid being punished. Just as uh, being punished as Van Gerwen did in the first set. On two occasions there, he didn't get in first three, but won the legs. It looks to me like Michael is very much aware of the situation as we speak, as we talk about it. And he's thinking a little too hard and trying too hard to get this win in this set. Now he's just responding to a 180. 133. Kicks into automatic. He could have gone for Bull, the ball there, yeah. yeah, because 25 left 96. And he, well, or, or nine for double 16. And he gets in for set two. David Chisdell showed a lot of heart. He was a non-entity in the first set. Michael Van Gerwen steamrolled him. But set two, he came out, started with a 160, and he went from there. Although Michael Van Gerwen fought very hard to try and stop him. Dave Chisnell has leveled this final. Very nice check of 110,000 pounds. In that second set, both players averaged over 100. The standard of the most exquisite excellence from both players in this double in, double out format, John Part. Well, yeah, and if you're in the Chizzy camp, you could be much happier with Chizzy's set win because it was that much more difficult. He, he won a set against 100 average. Whereas Michael didn't prove much beating what Chizzy put out there the first set, which was barely anything. It was reminiscent of 2013 nice against goal. Phil Taylor. Uh, the average of both players in this third set currently naught. Still naught. Well, that's Still naught. Nice another goal. good point, though, Rod, is they averaged over 100 each, and there were plenty of missed ins. Well, Chisnell, in fact, missed all three to go in in the final and decisive leg. But here he's in now. Let's get serious 79. here, because Chisnell here has a chance to break the throw, because he's got the start. And Van Gerwen here is suddenly all over the place. Look at how far he's missing by. 36. The ninth attempt at double gets Van Gerwen off. I mean, our rule of thumb back in the old days 
of adjusting the average so you know how you're playing was we say, okay, add 10 on to make up for the missed doubles in. So if we did that, we can say they were averaging what would amount to 110 each. And I think that would be very uh, characteristic of how they were scoring and finishing there in that set, too. leg we saw was absolutely crucial but already getting the impression that this one is highly significant too Van Gerwen edges in front by two points after his first maximum but the bottom line here is Chisnall odds on to break and those odds shortening well he's left double three here a double four sorry after a third maximum Van Gerwen was trying to do double three well, it was double three that Chizzy hit that actually kept his hopes alive for a set to a really key double. Maybe the biggest one so far in the match. But this double four would certainly be popular for it. Break a throw, Chizzy leads. 16 dart lag, and remember he didn't get off for the first three, so once he'd started, it was a 13 darter against throw, if you will. He's in front in the final. Oh, I just saw MVG looking at Dave like as if, who's this guy? And I don't recognize this guy throwing. Is that, is that the right shirt? Well, it's one of the most colorful shirts. Looks like uh, a Sixth marker day. pen fancy dress convention up there, doesn't it? You only need the <laughs> vibrant pink of Keegan Brown, and you've got the full house. It's one of the most recognizable dark shirts in the world. Sixth day. Yeah, I like that one. Chizzy's shirt he has now is like the, the markings as well, the trim, if you will. He's got a good look. Well, he gains the approval of the Visace of darts, John Part. Well, I'm no Wayne Mardell, but I know something about his shirt, too. Ninety-six. Back on the hockey, Chisnell with the break, and the three maxes. Just wanted that second treble there to leave 82 so much more manageable than 1-2-2. Two, two. So 18s, the old favourite on the 1-2-2, two, two. needs a treble for the ball. Oh, and that was such a good first start to get a treble, and he somehow deflected off, but not in. Just didn't catch enough of the barrel. 37. Michael Lugois, 66. For the leveller. Goes double 18 off the 20. 30. And that Baby really Lugois, was not 85. too convincing at all. And if I'm Dave Chisno, I'm thinking... That looked weak. I'm going to take this in two. That's one. Needs all three. Oh, I can't Seven find it. Five. Yeah, he didn't know what to do I when he didn't one, take it in two, unfortunately. Last start in hand. Yeah, it's in the double. Yeah, we're watching real significant Michael moments in this match. Van Gerwen gives it. The full, full attack, and Chizzy's head went down as he did it. Yeah, this is a battle, isn't it? I mean, this set has the feel as though it's 3-3, and they're looking to go a set away from winning the title. That's how tense this is right now at 1-1. 160. And Dave Chisner with his second 160 in of the... Final. Van Gerwen hits the second one, seven seven, of the final. Well, he's off the nine, but he needs to keep on the thought of winning the leg. Fifty-eight. been three 
magical nine dark legs at the World Grand Prix. 96. First by Brendan Dolan, then lastly by Wade and Thornton. 56. Well, for 230, MBG failed to leave a, a finish, so you don't relax. You still want to get this hit if you're Chizzy. 57. Don't want to lose any kind of eagerness or focus. Because if you do relax, it tends to haunt you afterwards. Well, trying to get the lead in this set again, but it would be a third straight break and throw in the set. I have no idea whether he was aiming at 16 or 8 there, but I'm pretty sure it was 16. But by the reaction, yes. Yeah. But actually, there's no damage done as long as he recomposes. There'll be damage done if he misses here. He doesn't yeah. miss here. Yeah. Really good finish well, from Dave Chisdall after the discombobulation of hitting the wrong big number. Yeah. All three legs against the throw in this set, John. It's really developing now into a fascinating final. One and seventy. Great in shot. So much pressure now on Michael Van Gerwen. He's been under some in this championship, but not in the final. This is his high. Pressure as he's been under for quite a while, I'd have to say. Chisno bringing the heat again. 423. He has beaten Van Gerwen on this City West stage, 2013, an absolute epic when he won in the quarters, three sets for two. He lost in the same round to this opponent last year when he had the highest ever losing average. Chizzy. This is. The big one. Final. Ninety-five. One hundred. My blue one hundred and forty-six. Well, Chisnell, remember, won the second set with a 101 checkout. 85. Can he win the third set with a 102 checkout? It's a reasonable opportunity. Ball or treble 14. Went treble 14, couldn't find it for tops. 54. My goal was 64. 25 for 36. Van Gerwen. Has the first part of that yeah, and the second. Leg, We're all level. Leg is Michael to throw first. Exciting leg, third set. About to commence, at least so hopes Michael. Oh, that, Michael's doubling in. 40. I mean, that's gone in, but the, the distance those first two missed yeah, by and, John. And every big miss he throws at the board will build the confidence of Chizzy. 38. Yeah, th that wasn't a, a get in clinic by these two, those six starts. But they did get in. 434. Four legs against the throw in this set. But if normal service is resumed, and Gerwin will win it on the throw. But will it be? 139. Good this man. I think Makes, he liked it. Well, he did. He made Gerwin Price look shy and retiring there, didn't he? But he, he, Van Gerwin knows he's in a game here. He, there's no question about that. He knows exactly what's going on up there. He knows that he's not hey, he playing perfectly, and he knows his opponent is at it. Well, his opponent hasn't played perfectly either, so there's a little room for improvement. They've had a lot of spectacular so scoring and, and, and look really good at most of the match. But, yeah, weakness on both sides. It's intriguing this because... Anything could happen from here. 
58. That might be the release of the pressure valve that Van Gerwen wants because now he's got time on his side to leave tops. To leave tops and to hit tops and to take the lead again in the final with his highest finish of the final. The highest finish of the final and Van Gerwen now leads two sets to one at the City West. Gets in the second dart. No, 96. It's 96, so not too bad. But Michael all full of confidence after that finish. And the set claimed. 79. In the first dart. But uh, lucky for Chizzy. No troubles with it. And this is a kind of like, it's, it's going to be a struggle all the way, but you feel like. Chizzy has to hold his throw in this leg, or it's just going to start getting ugly. Well, he's given him many happy returns. He's given him, he gave himself a real chance there of winning that set against the darts, no, didn't he? Right, because he, he broke, then failed to hold, then he broke, and then he failed to hold, which would have been a set-winning hold as well, wouldn't it? 174! Agreed. Agreed. I, I, I don't know... I, we, we, we always dwell on this break and hold stuff so much. Maybe I think that we all do, including the players themselves, when they're up there, they just try too hard to... They think it's so simple, but the, the double in negates so much of that. Yeah. 2.16's MVG. 92. Xavier Maguire, 70. Oh, Chizzy here. 30 for 40. 30 40. He's had his break points, hasn't he? Can he hold? In two. Well, we've seen a lot of this, dragging it down for double ten. And on a couple of occasions, he's not mocked up on double ten. 16. What he has, but he, there's a lot of not getting it there on tops. Michael, very hungry for this double eight. Now, double four, last dart in hand. The sweetest. Second leg is Michael to throw first. There is another break. Yeah, in straight start, John, at the elite level, the guy thrown first would win around about 65%. 120. Overall. Obviously, Van Gerwen's statistics are higher. He is the player. But I suspect, he, overall, his stats would drop a little bit in this format because there is an idiosyncrasy, isn't there? 133. Definitely, there's a big variable in play. Maybe that just averages back to the 65%. Maybe. You would expect that it would cause a lot of waves. Well, Van Gerwen's whole percentage in this tournament is just under 80. So you have to compare that with his hold performance in... Uh, Every straight tournament over the years, one for the statisticians to look at this week. Look at the uh, results of the tournament and we dissect them. Ah. Well, this is 140 to go with three maximums. Yeah, on the second leg. As he bangs in another three-figure out shot, that's the second in three legs, and he missed a double to make it three straight ton plus out shot. So Van Gerwen the one one four to go with the one one one. And Chizzy uh, looked like he had the burden of that widening gap on his shoulders and answers it really well. Comes in with the one sixty. Thirty-two. Just trying to keep this set alive. If you could never fall back by two sets, that would be a good thing for a start. Oh, Mr. Maximum leaves the 161 for the magical nine. The lesser spotted nine. Back in 2014, it was when James Wade and Robert Thornton incredibly both had one in the oh, same contest here at the City West. Getting on for a year since the last televised nine down leg. Will the weight end here? Oh, Chizzy couldn't find the treble 17. And no, I think Michael Van Gerwen's reaction instructive. Quite often the opponent would share a smile after a narrow miss at a nine data. Van Gerwen, not interested. 64. All he cares about is the leg. 64. 
Well, I mean, that's not all he cares about. If David hit it, then Michael would have cared because he wanted to get one too and try and equal that other feet because he loves doing stuff like that. Thank you. 64 it was in the end, the checkout, not 1 6 1. But nevertheless, magic stuff. We saw actually in one of Michael Van Gerwen's earlier games, his first game against Jamie Hughes, where Jamie Hughes got seven darts into the nine. That was the leg when Van Gerwen took out 135 to nick it. 51. Well, MVG, as much winning as he's done, he still enjoys a good leg one. A good steal, a, a preposterous leg stolen is always the best kind. Well, next to one nine. He'll take the straight nine first. 100. Oh, and going now, cranking his average up towards 97. 100. And that would be if it stays there, his best of the event. Ah. Bangs in the maxi to lead the big fish. Oh, the fun and games here. Ball! Ball! Wow, so close. We had to hold their breath. Close to busting. Double four. No. No, John. Well, maybe just too much adrenaline at play here. Just getting too excited. This can happen to anybody. This to force yet another deciding leg, though, for three sets on the trot. With Chisnell having the darts. And he doesn't want to get too ahead of himself. Sean again, yes. Takes advantage of some missed darts from Van Gerwen, levels the set. Both players here in this set averaging well into three figures. Chisnell 108 and a half and Van Gerwen 102. It's the best match of the week in terms of the standard of play without a shadow of a doubt. No score. Does not get away. The only solace is he didn't get away no, in the final leg of the second set which he won to win the set but you can't keep relying on that kind of well fortune. and he has to get in now and he did and he did so maybe he's got a chance 75 couldn't get any good scoring with it though michael's thinking okay i'm not going to make two mistakes not in a row 98. that's how he's feeling now we see the average is 100 and 101 in set four Really amazing stuff. Oh, 77. So unfortunate. So inopportune. Yeah, one, three, four on the floor. That was not quite in. But had it been in, it would have been a treble. 34. Michael Van Gerwen's treble 19 hitting this week has been imperious and peerless. He's hit 33 treble 19s in this match. Chisnell's hit a lot of 60s, leave 73. Will it make a blind bit of difference? Will it disturb Van Gerwen? Yeah, no, it does not. He finds the middle of the tops. And Michael Van Gerwen now, in the meat of this match, has brought the heat with a 13-dart leg to go in front now by two clear sets here as he looks to retain his crowd at the City West. It's 3-1. Wayne Mardle has arrived. What's your take on what's happened so far, Wayne? Two defining moments, the full flag in the third set. Dave Chisnell had the darts and was thrown for the set, Is didn't get away. And the last leg of that last set, Dave Chisnell was thrown for the set and didn't get away. That's the difference Four between either a level game or maybe leading 3-1 himself or 3-1 down. But Van Gerwen is playing the best he's played the whole tournament. Well, that evidenced by the fact that Van Gerwen averaging 97.42 and his performance against Desvan in round two.
94.79, the highest yeah, individual exactly. match average we've witnessed this year. And the other kind of what's made turning points is the fact that when Van Gerwen's missed tops, he's got away yeah, on 36 more. more than Chizzy. He's doing the right things at the right times, and he says that so often in his interviews. Since two and four, absolutely world class from both players. Chisnell won the second set with the 101 checkout, his best of the match. Since then, we've seen two three figure outs from Van Gerwen 114 and 111. 139. This amazing statistic of successive outcomes between Chisnell and Van Gerwen. When I say successive outcomes, to be fair, the last 27, he has drawn one. Chisnell. <laughs> Double eight. Yeah, yeah. And if you were asked who the Prime Minister was when Dave Chisnell last beat Van Gerwen on telly, you'd have to check it wasn't Disraeli or Pitt the Younger. Oh, anyway. but, 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 but in all seriousness, he, he did. But he has beaten him on TV. His last big win over Van Gerwen on TV was here on the 11th of October 2013. Yeah. So yesterday was the sixth anniversary of yeah. that success. That's a long time in between drinks for David Chisnell. Isn't it, it is, yeah. He's played well in a lot of those games and got no reward, like this. Come on, come on. Dave Chisnell, he's playing brilliant darts. And will he be in the Premier League? 96. Will he be making a return to that elite ten-man field as we tour Great Britain and Europe early in the new year? He's certainly put his name in the frame, hasn't he? We know, of course, that MVG will lead the pack as he defends that particular crown. This treble 19 hitting continues to be exquisite. Yeah, against Dizwan, he was hitting that 57. With such regularity. 55. Oh, Chizzy mucking around on a few setup shots in this match. And he's missed a few combo oh, shots as well. The 85 Maybe and 70 86. comes to mind. Can't afford to miss this one. 54-32. Double 16. Yeah, it has gone in third down in hand. The thing is, when you're playing Van Gerwen and the pressure is such and so intense relentlessly, every dart at double becomes magnified, doesn't it? Every single one is analysed and magnified. You don't get too many second chances. Well, what's actually gone on and going on is that Dave has not had a break from any dart having to enter the, the required segment. Whereas Michael's had a couple of breaks like that where it doesn't matter if he hits a double or not. 96. No, no respite. You're quite right, Wayne. But that, amazingly enough, is the fifth time that Van Gerwen has missed three or more at a starting double in a leg. And we're in the 21st leg, so give or take one in every four legs he hasn't got off which that will disappoint Michael 100 well against Jamie Hughes and Jeffrey Dezwan on one occasion in both he missed nine darts to get away yeah. you're more or less giving those legs away 134 well, one wonders how the first dart of treble 19 clung onto the cliff face by its fingertips but it did for 57 well he makes up for lost time here Van Gerwen doesn't he in this leg to leave that 135. You were talking about the Jamie Hughes game there, Wayne. That was the famous finish that really was the determining factor in that first round win. Yeah. 45. Okay, he's gone to 57 28 room. Well, for the first time tonight, on one of those combinations, he's gone inside the double. Normally, he'd been careful to at least miss outside to leave something more manageable because this can oh, get messy can't it at double seven as he puts it in first dart yeah it's on the third leg michael oh, van gerwen i'll call it you just hit him michael well, that's the way we'll do it first. from now on game yeah, he made that look ridiculously easy when we both know it isn't yeah he's getting to that point now where dave he's probably felt that he can't miss anyway but it is getting no, to that cool. point where he can't miss No score. 
score. Oh, again. Michael Van Gerwen does not get in first three. Well, interestingly enough, before, whether you find it interesting or not, I have no idea. Before the, a dart had been thrown in the final, both oh, players had failed to get away 13 times each in the event. So th their stats were just so similar. Well, if Dave Chisnell does not hold throw here, he's four sets to one down. And even if he does hold, he's got to break Van Gerwen in the next leg. Breaking at the no, right time hasn't been a problem for him. It's been holding at yes. the right time. That's right. That really was manifest in the third set of the match, no, wasn't it? When he broke twice and couldn't hold yes. off the back of either break. Correct. One hundred. Dave Chisnell is playing to the standard he has played throughout the whole event. Michael Van Gerwen is playing slightly better. With both these have hit the big fish throughout the event. Can Dave it a ton to leave it again? One hundred. Chisnell lost a couple of. World Series events 16 and 17 to Michael Van Gerwen, but if you're talking no, about the real big finals, his last were in 2016 Players' Championship finals and the Masters, where he both lost to Van Gerwen. But when you look through the history, he's played in big finals, go back to yep. the World Championships in the BDO. It's Martin Adams. Yep. It, it was the it was the best player there. Then it was Phil Taylor. Then it was Michael Van Gerwen. Oh, you can call him slightly unfortunate, can't you? Yes, not started favourite in any of the finals that he's played. Adams, Taylor, Van Gerwen, Van Gerwen, and now Van Gerwen again. Needs to clean this up. He's got himself two darts at 16, one at double four next to his favourite double. And that goes around as well. It's the, the pressure is just relentless from the game. It's like having your right hand in a vice and it's just being tightened. Only just finding the single. But finding yeah, the double with ease set. and Van Gerwen now. Yes, he knows where the camera is and he knows what the lead is. And he knows the lead now is overwhelming. 4-1 to Van Gerwen and that smile says, I need only one more set to win the World Grand Prix. And I'm having it when we come back. He hasn't, Van Gerwen has. That's why it's 4-1. And as we saw Michael walking off just before the break there, Success. Just looks like so David cool, so first. casual, Game so on. composed. Dave Chisnell will now think, Rod, that I cannot miss. As he misses. 36. He gets there in the end. What he the thought he has to avoid, of course, is the thought that I cannot win. Oh, of course. 120. Pile it in. 140. For a 12th, 140. There's a similar feeling in my mind to watching Chris Dobie last night. That at this stage, you're feeling it's inevitable he's going to lose. But on the positive side, Dobie had a brilliant tournament and Chisnell too should go away from Dublin. Even if he gets beat here, thinking, I'm back to where, I'm, where I want to be. I'm right here challenging for big prizes, playing well at big events. And to the standard he's playing in this match. Right. If he just for, right, we'll put it out there. He loses 5-1, ends up with an average of 91, playing exactly the same way he's played throughout the whole tournament. Yes, he's lost, but he has to think. Right, I am on the right track here. I am playing some of the best darts in the world, and that's why he's won three events this year. Lost in the final of two others. Yeah, he's forced Van Gerwen to pull. Finishes off the top shelf and produced yeah. decent darts when he's needed to. Chisnell hits that. This game is not finished yet. Let's have it right. Let's get it right here because he can hold it in this set, get it back to 4 2, and get, no ask a few questions of Van Gerwen because Van Gerwen's doubling in. Well, it's been mediocre at best. That's three times in four legs he's failed to get away with his first three. Yes. 
But when he has got away, it seems to be with a 120, a 96, a, a 160. So he's kind of making up for it as he hits a 96 again. That's what he's doing better than Dave Chisnell. Gerwin in the tournament has had only a dozen maximum. Sisnel will leave the Grand Prix topping the 180 stats by a margin. He's had 25 in this tournament, Chisnell. Mr. Maximum. Twenty-one, maybe one hundred and sixty-one. Treble seventeen for the bullseye for one six one. Four hundred and thirty. Probably one hundred and twice. He's missed, missed that the last time was for a nine data. Oh, well, to reach maybe two legs in a set for the fourth time. Tops it is. We've seen a lot of that in this match. Missing underneath double top. And in the majority of occasions, it's not cleaning up double ten, Wayne. Yeah, he's hit the double ten once. He's not been good on that. He's not looked good on that. Will he get away with the misses? The answer is no. Rubbish, he said. Yeah, the miss starts at double ten. Have mounted up. You know, all players do this and their their managers and advisors they'll look back and analyze and work out what went wrong and what they could have done better and that will be one of the things for sure yeah there's been a number of things obviously why it's going wrong i'm not going to say gone wrong because he hasn't got beaten yet but it's the letting off around the double 10 region it's van gerwin getting in with second dart and scoring with the third dart and it's those being broken back when throwing for sets. All this is accumulated. That's why he's lost four sets. That's why Van Gerwen is only two legs away. 91. And it's been, as you alluded to earlier, that he just has had no time off at the hockey tonight, Dave oh, Chisholm. Every time he's told Maybe the hockey, he's been under pressure all the time. Yeah. No breathing space. Come on then, Chizzy. Come on then, Chizzy! Oh, come on then. Well, we know sometimes he snatches it. That was ridiculous. He pulled it all the way into the Big Ten. Well, <laughs> Chisnell's had that 170 earlier on the tournament, hasn't he? That magnificent big fish out. That was in the semi against Dozer. Yeah. He hits double top here to move ahead. And Van Gerwen had the 170 as well. In that epic against Mervyn King, when he also had a 170, but we didn't see one. Then. So for the fourth time in five sets, Dave Chisnell has won two legs. You've got to win the big legs. Getting to two is no good. You've got to get to three in a set. I wonder. He won the second set 3 2. He lost the other two 3 2. It's Van Gerwen on Roost and left 1 6 4 for a 9 data. Now that would have been a real, a real chance, wouldn't it? With the 257s ball rather than the 6051 ball. 60. Hmm? No, 96. Well, look at that. Chisnell here averaging 106 in set six. I mean, there's been sets when he's averaging in and around 100 and no, not winning. Them. Yeah. Michael Ball, 108. Well, in. His opening opening gambit, opening set of the the whole tournament. He averaged 103 and lost the set to Gerwin Price. Fifty-six. And this set now, odds on to go all the way, like sets two, three, and four. And Dave will have the dance 45. again. Might be Fifty-two. Two sixteens for Van Gerwen. With the luxury of knowing yeah, he'll be so back if he misses, which he hasn't. 
And now Chisnell here with the same conundrum you've mentioned it several times, Wayne, he's got to get away to hold. If he doesn't, Michael van Gerwen may give himself a rip-roaring chance to be the World Grand Prix champion again. Well, he's away, but it was only 39. 79. The pressure Dave is under now. Can he hack it? Oh, of course he can. This is Looking for a ninth maximum of this match. Treble 20 machine. Nine. Under this pressure, Rod, how, how good is that? And Michael Van Gerwen apologising because he was moving Three, forward eight. to throw Three, a little one, too one, prematurely. And it maybe accidentally trod on Chizzy's heel, but the apology was immediate. There was no problem. Yeah, no news here. Apart from Seven. Dave having a dart to win the sixth set. For the first time, really, Dave can think, oh... No, the pressure on my shoulders may be lifted for just a second. Well, he's got another six at least at this. He can just try to relax. Thirteen dart leg for David Chisnell. Takes the set. Takes the set. Stays in this World Grand Prix final. Four two now to Van Gerwen. The crowd right into this now. Right behind the man in yellow. Brilliant standard, that's for sure. I think we all want to see it go close. No score. But for that to happen, Cheesy is going to have to keep pounding away, hitting doubles and trebles, oh, because this man really has just been a relentless machine, Michael Van Gerwen. Van Gerwen has been the world number one for over 2,000 days. And when you look at those stats, it's one of the reasons why he just continues to do brilliant things. But Chizzy, averaging 104 in that last set, if you can carry on doing something as spectacular as that, then who knows? 434. Switching for 19s. 96, my good one, 70. You'd still say he's a second favourite here in this leg, yeah, and now the leg is over. And Gerwin. Takes the opening leg of the seventh set. Incidentally, Chisnell's ten maximums in a match at this format equals his own personal best of ten, which he's managed a couple of times. One against Van Gerwen in that quarter final, but well behind the overall best, which is held by Michael Van Gerwen, who hit 18, 18 in the 2015 final, which he lost. He's in. 
That's where he loves the first start. Well, Chisler's never hit more maximums in a World Grand Prix match, but Michael Van Gerwen counters as one of his own. To let him know he's still around in leg two. Could be right under the cosh here. Michael can turn a 141.80. 96. Well, he loves 36. He may go 48 here. Well, that's twice he's done that in this match. Gone for a treble 18. Four and 18, and it'll one. And once you tidy this up. Well, this would be the highest finish of the match if it goes, and what a time to get it. Treble 18, and that is really awkward for Van Gerwen. his reaction as well that was one of a man who still thinks that he's got a chance here and like you said earlier Rod about him believing it he has to believe he's still in it doesn't he that the, the inevitable is not just gonna gonna happen trying to stop that well, he's still in it particularly in this set format yeah, he's only got to keep winning three legs out of five at any given time to yes. get the set haven't you and it's so much different from match play he's had such a good run he went all the way to the last leg, didn't he, against Gerwin Price in round one. And then, really, he's been dominant against Bunting, Aspinall and Durham to reach this final. Yeah, the, the, the pair of these oh, got away with it, really, didn't they, in round one? Well, well Jamie Hughes didn't miss a dart, a double, to, to beat Michael. He missed the dart at tops to lead 2-1 in that final set. And... Gerwin Price failed to get away in the last leg whilst having the darts against Chizzy. Another? Not this time. But the 140 just kind of gives him a chance if Van Gerwen goes trebleless. Trebleless, you absolute fool. Like that was going to happen. <laughs> I bet Chizzy was dreaming of it happening after the first two darts, but. Got it. another one there, another there. That makes it interesting oh, just about here. Yeah, this is no gimme at this stage of a match, not even for Van Gerwen way. No. Yeah, on the leg. Look at the reaction. One leg away. But he knows the importance of it. The importance of, of getting to one leg away means that Chizzy didn't win the leg and then closer to a set. No, I don't think anyone understands the importance of certain legs in matches that, more than Michael Van Gerwen in World Darts. Well, it was no gimme, but he made it look like one. That's, that's how good he is. That's, yeah. good he is. that's what it's all about, isn't it? And when it is brilliant best, rather like Tiger Woods over a crucial six-footer, you never expect him to miss. Yeah. And, Back in the, the, the Woods heyday, obviously, and Van Gerwen here hasn't reached that, that real peak, but maybe he's building to it now. Maybe he's building to it now as we approach the World Championship. This incidentally would be a 12th title all told this year, which is down on his usual output, but maybe he's going to come good when it matters. And Chistel smashes in a 12th maximum. Down on his usual output, 12 titles. Ludicrous! 59. Wayne, I think it's going to be another set that goes 3 2, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't need to go with the treble 17. 101 here, David. Well, he's got his choice of targets here. Just Bull, I would say. To leave a two dart combination by the outer. Again, no breathing space. What a setup. 17 for tops.
Well, OK, that kind of slipped in the 17, which is absolutely fine, but he'll be aware that he's gone low on tops a lot. This is to stay in the match. Otherwise, Michael Van Gerwen will step up to be champion. Chizzy stays afloat. Kudos to Chizzy. Another set goes 3-2. He's in. This is the fifth set from seven. It's gone all five legs. Got to it, the tops or 36. No score. Is that it? You're assuming Michael's going to hit at least one treble, maybe two. Oh, I assume wrong. Trebleless. Trebleless. Well, 160 here would virtually level the score, wouldn't it? Out of the blue. Frank Irwin obviously with advantage of the throw, but Chisnell is at least in the leg. The man's at 12 180s. He can play himself into any leg. And Michael knows that. But what a visit. Michael Van Gerwen, he's not one of those to get finish line itis, is he? No, 96. Dave needs at least the 140 or 180. He's got it. He's got it now then. Let's have a word for Dave Chisnell. What a fantastic event he's had. Maybe played himself into other events next year. He's won three events this year. He's a rejuvenated Dave Chisnell, but that man, Michael Van Gerwen, wins this World Grand Prix for the fifth time. He was the pre-tournament favourite, and he justified that favouritism. Jamie Hughes couldn't be neither Desoir, neither King, neither Dobie, neither Dave Chisnell. A smile and a raspberry from Michael Van Gerwen. Really happy man after that victory. Trophy presentation coming up soon. Quick thoughts on that final, really entertaining. Uh, it was an excellent final. Uh, the scoreline maybe flattered Michael even. Uh, Chizzy really did turn up. It's, okay, one set. The first set, he had some problems. He looked like uh, six years ago. But other than that, what a performance. A lot of heart there for Chizzy to try and make it the final it was, which was an excellent final. And Michael Van Gerwen, so deserves that title. He put up with every sort of challenge mounted against him this week. He, he'll be so pleased with himself, and I think he's going to be worried about Chizzy moving forward. You have to feel for Chizzy. Fifth final, fifth time defeated. Let's get our MC doing the presentation. Our MC is John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, what a final. And now it's time for our presentation party. Would you please welcome the brand manager for Boyle Sports, Mr. Joe O'Donnell. And ladies and gentlemen, the chief executive of our title sponsor, Boyle Sports, Connor Gray. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up receiving £50,000 and the trophy goes to the very popular Dave Chisnall! Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's a very familiar sight. It's a very familiar sight, this, Michael, you lifting the big prize, particularly here in Dublin. So many congratulations on winning the World Grand Prix for the fifth time here. Fantastic. Just give us your immediate thoughts, if you would. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with this uh, victory because I think Dave's putting put me under pressure every time in the game, and I had to do something special. 
on the moments he was a little bit weak and I'm really glad I also could while I was able to and uh, I think it was a phenomenal game for everyone to watch and uh, yeah I was only slightly better but that's just enough you're, you're so right it was an absolutely brilliant game to watch with so many sets going to 3-2 and obviously as you know they can go either way you you obviously and often use the phrase doing the right thing at the right time that's what you did again tonight wasn't it but yeah that's what you have to do especially if you want, if you want to win in front of a public like this you have to do the right things at the right moments and uh, you can't afford any mistakes and i'm really glad i didn't make any mistakes yeah. was this the toughest game you had this week because you had a couple of tough ones with mervyn didn't you and jamie hughes in the first round as well this one and mervyn's one that was the most important one so of course jamie was tough as well but to, with all the respect i didn't play really well in that game come back to you in a minute michael let's just have a quick word with with dave he's been absolutely brilliant this week Dave, first of all, congratulations on an absolutely brilliant week. You've had a fantastic tournament. Just give us your reflections on the week and, and the final, if you could. Yeah, I played OK through the week. Uh, I scored well. I finished well. Uh, I played well uh, in part seed with Michael, uh, but the better player won it. So, uh, congratulations to him. But it's an improvement from 2013, so... Bring it on again? Yeah, it certainly was. You're definitely getting closer. I mean, a lot of the sets went 3-2. They can go either way. Your maximum hitting was brilliant, I think, a dozen tonight. I think what we're taking away from this week is that Chizzy's back. Is that right? Yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm playing well again. And that, that's what I, I do for the last 12 months, just get back in, on stage and some good darts and compete against Michael, who played a great game today. So, well done, Michael. Great. Well, welcome yourself, Chizzy. We'll see you at the Grand Slam on Sky Sports and obviously at the World Championship later. Congratulations on a great week and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Cheers. Quick word again with Michael. This is a real busy time of the year now, Michael. You know that better than most. There's tournaments galore. The Grand Slam coming up soon on Sky Sports is a big one for you in the world as well. Just sum up what you're looking to achieve now, what your goals are for the rest of the year. It's not what I have to achieve. Everyone knows what my goals are. I want to win the World Championship. That's the most important one. But for myself, also the next week, well, the Champions League of the Arts is important for me. Every tournament I'm competing, I want to win. I, I'm always, but I'm a professional and I don't want to let myself down, but also not my fans. And uh, uh, this is a nice, uh, nice start of the really important moment of the year. And we know, we say this many times when we come back here, because we know how important this tournament is to you and how special it is and how fond you are, the Dublin crowd, and how fond they are of you. Just give us a few words about the atmosphere playing here in the crowd and how they appreciate you. Uh, with all the respect, the, the, the crowd's been phenomenal. Not only that, the atmosphere, everything, this is what we want to see. And uh, I'm really glad I also could perform in front of them. If you can, if you can have a better average and overall over the tournament, above the 100, that's amazing. And uh, this, uh, it's been a good tournament for me, but it's, uh, it's the start of the, of the, of the big work. No better feeling to hear someone singing your name and they're doing that again, Michael. Go and enjoy it. Lift the trophy for us if you would. The champion here at the World Grand Prix once again is mighty Michael Van Gerwen. Mighty Mike muscles his way to another title. His 47th televised title, quite incredible. That was the moment he did it. A look of jo joy. Chizzy, 12-180s though. Great display. And lost so many sets, 3-2. Yeah, well, Chizzy, he's going to be proud of himself this week. But I think the business-like performance, another really champion display from Michael Van Gerwen. Uh, and what stands out to me, 53% at his outshot doubles. And if you have that kind of a percentage in any match, you're going to do well, especially a final. What a performance from the man under pressure. When he really needed shots, he got them. And Michael Van Gerwen just continues to prove his class again and again. But Chizzy, we see him walking by there. He's so happy he turned up and he contested the final. He is a big time player now and he knows it and we all know it. He wants to make history, back to back titles, the first time he's done that, he'll be proud of yeah. himself. Well, I guess that monkey's off his back. When he won it five times, I, I would take them all intermittent, but 
for him, yes, he's now he's he's done another thing he hadn't done, and it, that's a short list of things he hasn't done. It's getting shorter all the time. It's the perfect time of year to be in this sort of form, isn't it? With the World Championship just around the corner. He set his sights on winning a million pounds in the next three months. Well, and it's a great time when you're the world number one and all the focus is on you and what you should do. Now he's, he's set it out there. Listen, I'm the world number one and I'm playing like the world number one. I'm the champ and you've got to beat me and you can't. And that's what the message is he's sending out there. And it's the right, perfect time of the year for him. He's loving the moment. You've got to savor these moments, haven't you, John? Oh, yeah, and he's savoring it, you know, and he really respects the crowd. Yes, he knows they were pulling for Chizzy. Chizzy earned all the support he got, and when he was fighting back, they were great. And, I, and Michael appreciates the crowd, not only for himself, but for Chizzy, and for being a great darts audience here in Dublin. Been a really good... Ever tried... Ever... For the fifth time, Michael Van Gerwen dominates in Dublin.